Future TIS students should take strategic communication because it's a really fun, engaging class and it's a lot of learning in the classroom and then experiencing outside of the classroom. You learn a lot of practical, useful information. We learn, here's how you manage a crisis, here's how you deal with global relations, and now let's go out and see how a real company does that. Well, the best part of the strategic communication course is our professor, Niels. We have a lot of stuff that we're learning in the class, but it's just great to have a teacher who's experienced everything that we're learning right now and who has that kind of insight to give to the class. I really like how Niels balances uh, giving lectures and presentations on his own, but also engaging the class in group discussions um, individually with partners. Um, he does a really good job of mixing up the format of the class. He's really interesting to, to listen to, especially because his lectures are usually peppered with information from his own experiences and from his own work, which is something that I've learned over time. The best professors are the ones with the hands-on experience, the ones who are going to be able to tell you a story and, and give something to you that you can relate to. It's an opportunity for students to, first of all, to get to know more about Denmark and what Denmark is about, uh, to uh, uh, visit some cultural sites, uh, but also to uh, visit some uh, companies, organizations uh, that are related to uh, our field of study. We went to TV2, which is um, Denmark's TV station, and I thought that was just really cool to hear about what they do, um, what TV programs they produce. We also went to a media company called M2 Film. They're really big right now for making a lot of the Lego commercials. And so we got to see the different things that actually have to go into making a commercial. Our study tour to London was just an incredible experience. First of all, because the city of London is an amazing place, but also um, London is a communications hub uh, for businesses and organizations, so it was perfect for our class. We got to go see a lot of really cool businesses, like PR firms, um, law firms, and marketing places that otherwise I never would have been able to go to. The London Eye, the first night we went there, because it was really cool, you just get to see I think we went at the perfect time. It was like twilight and all the lights were coming on in London. It was getting kind of dark. It was really cool. And I also really liked the afternoon tea because you just felt so British. <laughs> I'm a big tennis fan, and so Wimbledon was so cool to go to. I mean, on the business side, it was awesome. It was cool to just see how they, they keep this kind of prestigious regal uh, reputation. It's so different from any class I've taken in America, and I've taken a lot of of communications and public relations classes and as much as there is some overlap there there's something new that's brought to the table from this European context that I don't think that you can get in another course. I like the class dynamic it's cool I think it's a good mix of people I'm studying finance like a lot of people are studying other things than communication but it's cool that everyone I feel like everyone wanted to take this course to learn about communications and get some views on how it works in Europe and around the world. Future DIS students should definitely consider taking this class if they have any interest at all in communication because it combines the media with public relations for businesses and journalism in a way that is cohesive and helpful for you as a student and for your potential future careers.